I don't know if you've talked to the Mormons recently, but I know that, uh, in fact, one of the first couple of days when we came back to the States, Mormons caught us walking downtown, and they said, hey, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're using words like grace and Jesus Christ and the atonement, and they do everything to make it sound like they're the same. But it is a superficial sameness. It is a superficial agreement. And so I, I told them, I said, I, I'm, I just you know, like to be straightforward with them, right? You know, I'm, I said, well, listen, you know, I'm a Baptist. You understand we're different, right? I said, oh, yeah, well, you know. And, and then they, they tried to, to go on. And so at the end, he's the, this young man who's called an elder, he says, well, can I just pray for you? And I've never been in that position. I think, okay, what do I do now? This guy wants to pray for me. And I start thinking, well, who's he praying to? And so I said, well, well, here's the thing. I said, you pray to a different God than I pray to. And he was shocked. He was really shocked when I said that. I think that he, maybe he even didn't realize that. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, you believe, uh, Mormons believe in a lineage of gods, one God after another God after another God. I said, you believe in a lot of gods. You believe in a lineage of God. I believe in one God who has always existed. That's a different God. And so anyway, our discussion went on from there. But what I'm saying is that, that we have to realize that fundamentally we are different than Judaism, Hinduism, Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, and others.